So this is the ADE58 3 times VCA from Abstract Data. module provides free all analog VCAs built around a totally discrete OTA design. It gives a great balance between performance and the kind of specs of modern VCA chips, which are great high performing VCAs, very clean, without any of that kind of mojo or kind of audio back end that we're used to from more vintage style synths and designs. The module's got a great signal to noise ratio, it's very good degree of linearity, nice attenuation and it doesn't bleed i found it to be just a fantastic vca with just a, a hair of color on there i mean it, it, it's like listening to differences in transformers and things in audio paths it's not a distorting vca by any means but there's a little bit more about it great for audio great for cv all discrete only resistors capacitors and transistors in this design and I certainly want a few of these dotted around my system after playing around. So let's get stuck in to some audio and CV patches. So for this first patch, I wanted to show using the ADE50 triple VCA with all three channels for audio and show not only how good does this thing sound, but how it can expand such a simple patch by having three VCAs playing off the same sequence. Now, like a lot of things I do in modular, this is controlled by an abstract data ADE32 octo controller, which in case you haven't seen it before is on screen now, <laughs> as if by magic. So I've got the octo controller sending pitch to my oscillator. I then have my sub into channel three, an animated square into channel two and a saw into one. And I'm letting these different rhythms play off and create a stereo image. Now let's take a listen to channel three. That's the yellow trace on the data scope. Now let's add some modulation to release time. This is being controlled by the new abstract data envelope. Some nice kind of push and pull and life to that rhythm. Channel one. This is the green trace. Just a random sample and hold gate from the octo controller and channel two. Blue channel. Now make sure you're listening stereo because channels one and two have been panned in my mixer. Here they are together. And with channel three. So it's a really simple sequence being expanded by taking multiple waveforms out of an oscillator, splitting across the three channels of the ADE50 and letting this create a stereo image and a much sort of wider, more interesting groove from an otherwise simple patch. Let's add some effects. These have been panned by the octo controller and some drums. So splitting those voices and having three awesome sounding VCAs is just really handy. So in this patch, we're going to look at the VCA processing CV. As this is DC coupled, it will do audio or CV. Works great for both. What you're hearing at the minute is this envelope, the new abstract data envelope, which is this green trace on the scope. I'm coming straight out and across into the scope. That's been sent to the CV of a low pass filter to open up the cutoff. And also you can see on this white cable back into channel three on the actual VCA itself. Having multiple channels is great, which is why this module is so good. Now the first thing I want to do is add some kind of velocity and expression to this envelope without modulating the shape or time or gate length. 
So to do that, I'm first going to pass the CV through channel two, VCA number two. So the envelope is coming in. This modulation signal, the CV in on VCA two, is stepped random voltages. Sample and hold in time with each gate for each swell of this envelope. And I'm going to patch the output of this VCA into the scope. First we can see it, but then I'm taking the copy out, still on this white cable, to the third VCA for amplitude modulation, and also split to my filter. So as you can see there, we've had a lower amplitude on that envelope. It's because this stepped random on the second VCA is controlling the envelope, which is the input. It won't affect the shape, and this VCA is great at retaining the shape of the audio and CV that you put into it. But it will affect the amplitude. And we can hear that filter doesn't open quite as much. It's also not as loud because it's not opening the third channel of the VCA as much. Now I'm going to patch this LFO signal, which is the blue voltage coming in on this blue cable, up into the top VCA. And then I'm going to patch another envelope to the CV input of this VCA. And I'm then going to patch across from the output of that VCA into channel 4 on my scope. I'm taking the buffered copy out of the scope to FM on my oscillator. And what you can see this top channel doing is taking the LFO as the input, using the envelope to shape and curve the output. And it's giving us that classic fading vibrato style effect that you get on some keyboard synths. Just slowing down the LFO, speed it up. So just to run that down again, the top channel is taking this blue signal from the Mordax data in, LFO in, an envelope to control the depth of the envelope that's coming out and being split to control vibrato. The second channel is taking my envelope from the abstract data new envelope. We've stepped random CV to change the peak and the depth of this envelope. That's then going in to channel three. So I'm taking the output of one VCA into another to then actually control this oscillator sound. Let's just flesh the patch out a little bit with an extra layer. Now you can hear this sort of FM style patch, and this is the negative, the inverted output on the abstract data envelope. So the positive outswells up, and as that's coming down, the negative is then opening up. It keeps these sounds kind of completely opposite to each other and playing in the gaps. So for the final part of this video, I'm going to look at this VCA as a wave shaper. It does a fantastic job of audio rate AM modulation, amplitude modulation. Much like FM, where we modulate the frequency of something at audio rate to create new overtones, here we're modulating the amplitude at audio rates to create new overtones. You don't lose the bass pitch, unlike some analog FM. So you can play around freely and know that your actual input signal will retain its pitch, but you can still get some great overtones. So let's start by looking at what my actual input is here on channel 2, on this yellow cable. So this is currently just a sine wave. And that's this green wave up top. Now I'm taking the sine wave in to the VCA and then I have this blue wave as my modulation. So green is like the carrier, blue is like the modulator in an FM index. I'm going to take my signal out 
of the VCA, which is now this yellow trace. And let's listen to the output, this rather funky looking yellow wave. Now this is just a triangle wave oscillator as the modulator and I can pitch this down. And if I go even slower, it does what you'd expect, fades the VCA in and out. But at audio rates, we can create these new wave shapes and getting the frequencies right, they kind of lock in to more harmonious waves. Let's just play around with the modulator frequency. that's just not quite in tune with a nice kind of ratio we're almost getting this kind of PWM unison detune sort of sound our output from the top VCA channel we're then going to take the output from the scope which is channel 2's output to our in I'm going to take the abstract data envelope just off screen to the VCA channel and I'm going to set a sequence going first with pitch just going to the carrier let's play around with that modulation frequency again So it's nice for these static overtones. But if we get the pitch into the modulator as well, this wave shape will stay accurate across the various pitches in this sequence. So that's the VCA wave shaping with AM modulation, which sounds fantastic. Be sure to go grab a few of these. It's a perfect module for dotting multiple around a system, and it's already made me want a few of them. Check out other modules from Abstract Data. We've got videos coming up on the ADE 51 and 52, the utility with mixing, attenuation, offset, inversion, and the new envelope. And be sure to go check out the Octo Controller as well, as that's been at the helm of most of these patches, and is many of my patches. Hit like and subscribe, go support me on Patreon. Cheers for watching.